Right. And that way you can uh, fire off. Right. This is the door that just makes Justin smile. I don't really know what that entails. Oh, it's just an engine. <laughs> <laughs> the world's most beautiful girl, the old Galloway. Yeah, Steven has an almost unnatural attraction to this thing, but it is pretty cool. It is really cool. I love her. Wow. Okay, How old so, is this? Uh, she's in 1916. 1916. All right, so we flip the winch. All right. Okay, That's not so bad. It's 3,600 pounds on wheels. How do we stop this thing? It'll chop you, but you stop yourself. She leaks everywhere. First thing we do is we come in. She's always well lubed. I crank these puppies down pretty good, give them four or five good cranks, or until nothing happens. And this is forcing more grease into uh, something important. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, it goes all the way down into, the, into oh, this babbit. Dude, that's it. That's I mean, that's as simple as it gets. That's not even oil bath, yeah. And it still works. Yep, so we come over here, little valve, little brass valve. We just okay. turn our gas on, our fuel on. She's about empty. Oop, excuse me. Okay. I learned this from my dog. I just stand in the most obnoxious place possible. <laughs> this is a really good motor to uh, show kind of how these operate, actually. Yeah. Um, this is our relief valve. We couldn't spin those wheels with that 9-inch piston uh, making compression, so we open this up. It allows us to be able to turn the wheels. Wow. The wheels are like combined. I'm not really sure. Probably in the neighborhood of 1,000 pounds total. Um, could be less. I can see that. Okay, so here we go. We have a cam right here. Right, and as the wheel rotates, okay. this wheel rides on that cam. Okay. So yeah, I can you see, see that happening. And what happens is it pushes this bar back and forth. Okay. So this bar oh. has two jobs. Okay. It comes up and it will clip this igniter, right? Okay. So this is a magneto, it's got a coil inside, and this these are actually three separate magnets. It rotates that coil really fast over that um, magnetic field, which creates uh, a uh, um, high voltage. And that high voltage is transferred down into here, and it jumps a spark. It releases a oh, uh, two contact, contacts, right? Sure. And that's when you get fire. But this thing will hold the valve, the exhaust valve, open, so it's just breathing the whole time. Like, and you'll hear it. It's like, it's like. Oh, I think oh. we missed that. Can you demonstrate again? <laughs> it's really cool. So. <laughs> what causes where all your timing comes from is centrifugal force, right? So okay. these, these heavy weights, as it's spinning fast enough and it doesn't need any more power, these weights are drawn all the way out. <clears throat> wow. And it moves this bar. Okay. This bar has a little dog on it that locks that shaft forward, holding that exhaust open. But as it slows down and these start to pull back in, it opens this. And releases and it. releases it and nice. lets it go through its, its fire sequence. Nice! So we're going to see if we have enough fuel. I'm just going to... See if we have enough just in here. I bet this thing like sounds like a bomb going off when it fires. Extremely quiet. Is it really? Incredible. Wow. Now we can't cheat her. Yeah. By if I had fuel, I don't. I could trickle a little bit of fuel in here. Oh, it's got like a little pre-start Yeah, thing. you just pour a little fuel in there and it'll help you out. Nice. I don't think I have any fuel. I think this is gasoline, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 50-50 shot. But, we should be getting some dripping out of here. Okay. This is not the best. And I've got a little bit, but... I know it's a problem when your Lukenheimer isn't dripping. Yeah, but it's a, that's a big deal right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where's the gas? Uh, gas station. No, it isn't. I'm not walking that far. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Once again, thanks to California, we you know we have plenty of fuel that's, leaking all over the ground. It keeps the paint fresh. Here, don't dump it all in there. Save a little for the ground. Oh, that's <laughs> just great. There you go, guys. Well, I mean, it's better than like some fumes escaping, so. East Texas Craigslist. Let's see. East Texas Craigslist. Steel Anvil $75 Lindale. Are you going to get it? Yep, You're just right going to drop it. Are yep. you serious? Yep. We're going to drop everything and buy an anvil. Are you getting it? We have a blacksmith shop up here, and I see you have an anvil for sale. All right, guys, so we're going to give her a little trickle. So you just put a little fuel in there. Whoop, let her suck in. Yeah, it's really important you make the sound effect, otherwise yeah. it doesn't work right. Oiler's been left on for the past hour, so <laughs> we've got plenty of oil in the cylinder. <laughs> and... 
close. Close the decompression and didn't get it. What happened? I just didn't get her closed off in time. Alright. Run. I love you, man. Indeed you do. You want to kind of adjust her to where she's firing good? But not pouring out a ton of black smoke. Mm. I do this when the kids are around. Yeah. Oh, cool. We'll get her, we'll get her a good one. Kids love this part. <laughs> Still didn't give you. Man, that's louder than that than that whistle. Pumping out the carbon today. That's yeah. Rich. Man, I'm 25 and I love that part. <laughs> this is really cool. Hear that breathing? Yeah. It's breathing in and out. It's opening that valve every time. And your intake is just a little spring valve. So okay. It's, just, it's suction that's pulling that in. And that's that brrrr sound you're hearing. Yeah. Spring. Okay. That's, your, that's like a needle valve. When it hits suction, it pulls, pulls fuel through. Wow. And then this right here vibrates as well. And now you can watch that work. That's centrifugal force. And I can actually reach in here. Yeah. Absolutely not safe. I grab this arm. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> we can make a fire multiple times. He's a sweet girl. Wow. How many horsepower did you say this is? 16. 16. Now, not like 1960 standards of 16 horsepower. This was real. Like replaces 16, 16 horses. It replaces power. 16 horses, yeah. That this is, is not your lawnmower. Yeah. This would be more like. I think a lot more out of this. Yeah. <laughs> so rotational mass right here, you're probably talking, I don't know what the torque would be. Cummins 4BT torque. Yeah. I don't know. Wow. That's a lot of torque. Check out the piston. Oh, dude, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. It's awesome, right? You wanna see the rings? Uh, I gotta get those. That's a huge piston. Yeah, let's see some rings. All right. There's a set of rings for them. Dude, you can fit that around your neck. Oh, I think I could. Try it. <laughs> let's really go for it. Put some effort into this. No problem. Dude. No problem. Our box is broke. I know. Not good. No. All right. This three. Oh, I can't get it off. <laughs> wow, this is cool. Yeah, she's a... So is this thing burning like a half a gallon of gas every time it fires? I don't even see. It's a trickle. Yeah. It's next to nothing. Wow. It's uh, way more efficient than a Prius. Yeah, I bet it is. this way. In six months, that's yeah. the second time I put gas in it. And I put um, uh, about a gallon in there. All right, so this is your clutch. Okay. Slide that out. It'll rotate oh, freely. Wow. So it's got a clutch plate right there. Yeah. And the shaft is, you know, directly driven. We gotta tighten it up, and you slam this in, and then that'll start rotating your belt. So when Steven gets out here, he's gonna adjust all this to where this is actually gonna function. Right now it's set up for safety. No yeah. matter which way we have it, it's not gonna engage. It won't run off but of somebody's arm. If you if you add your arm in this, you're, you're done. Yeah. You don't wanna fall into that. Okay, 
Okay. And to cooler, you take away one of three things, air, fuel, and spark. I try to put my hand over that, it's just gonna suck me into the motor. Yeah. So you can just, um, look this up. This is your advanced timing, but I have it set to kill it. Uh, she, she tends to run pretty good. Is yeah, that it may fire? We'll see. Alright. Uh -huh. Oh, oh we had another one in it. Don't run backwards, girl. There you go. It may fire. I hope I can find a woman who I can love as much as Justin loves this engine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this thing really is your baby. She's a rare find, you know, you find a woman like that. Yeah. Dude, that is really something. Yeah. Look at that piston size. Yeah. Dude, I thought the pistons on my Deer A were big. What, did you say that's nine inches? I don't know. Something I, I, I like never that. never measured it. Could be, could be ten. Wow. I never made I just assumed nine. It's just exposed like that, too. It's neat, huh? And everything's greasy, and it still runs. Yeah, well, we hold the, we, we keep the piston in, the, in like, yeah. right about here, and that yeah. keeps stuff from getting back up in there. Yeah, And that's, that's pretty smart. much what you did. And then you just always push your old grease out with your new grease. I can mm -hmm. tell this one's dead. Um, this one's backed in all the way. Yeah. So we're going to have to pull these grease caps off, refill them, and pack them again. And wow. I am a huge fan of putting way too much grease and oil on everything. I'm because you. this stuff has to last forever, you know? Um, or until it's next restoration. We can repour Babbitt's. Yeah. Wow. But anyway, so now that she's warm, I can't imagine that she won't just... Like, Pop right you don't off. even really need to, to give her a little trickle, but... Oh, that thing is cool. I'm even dumping a little more. You want to try to start it? They can't say no to an offer like that. Huh? Here, I say, I can't say no to an offer like okay. that. Here, it's recording. So what do I do? Just give this thing a whirl? Yep, so it's got a big arrow on it. Ah, cool. Follow the arrow. Shut the valve. Which valve? This thing? No, over to the left. The one that's spitting. Ah! Dude. I like it. That's pretty cool, right? This is amazing. Normally with my horde of tractors, I come up with at least a theoretical reason why I own them and things that I might do with them. I'm trying to come up with one for something like this right now. <laughs> Every man needs a hit and miss motor. That's just how it is. What I love is the timing. Like, watch it. You'll hear it. You'll hear it like slow down. <laughs> I know. 